What's up guys, Suvius here and welcome to another episode of The Guide to Survival. Now in the last episode we began and continued with this house and now in this episode I'll finish it off and we'll get to some more some more of your skills to learn in Minecraft. So looks like we've done the upstairs. Let's just fill out these bits here. Now, this room here can now be turned into a storeroom. You can put your chests and things in there. And this room up here can now be turned into your bedroom. So, put your bed where you want. Here, yeah, that's a good place. And <clears throat> you can put whatever you want up here. Like chests, furnace, bookcases, whatever. And you, can, you could put an enchanting table up here if you wanted to, if you got one. Uh, but for now, I'll just leave it as a bedroom. Uh, everything down here seems to be fine. We've got our basic things. And this one will be turned into a storeroom later, like I've said. Uh, so it's dark at the moment. So let's go to bed. Right, morning. So... Get some food. Right. Check if there's any monsters around. And it looks like we're clear. Now last time we started building this farm. Uh, we haven't got any seeds at the moment. So let's go find some. And the way to get seeds is just by knocking away tall grass like this. And there's a chance you'll get some on each each piece of grass. So I'll just get a few few seeds. I think five is enough. So ho use your hoe to till the land and then put your seeds in. Now we're going to need some way to make sure the animals don't crush all our seeds, so what we'll do is we'll make, some, we'll make a fence or two. So, I've only got enough for two at the moment, so um, i have to get some more in a, just in a second. Mine a few, we'll chop down a few trees to get the sticks we need. And hopefully we'll be able to make a good fence to stop the animals from trampling all our farm. I think this should be enough to turn into... Doesn't matter what wood you've got. So you can make... You can make fences out of any type of wood. So we'll leave a space so we can walk around um, and eventually we'll make a gate. Need some more fences now. And a gate as well. Just put the gate in like that. There we go. And like that. And this one here is already grown, so you can harvest that and replant the seeds. It seems this one's seeds have disappeared, so uh, we'll have to go and get some more. Just one should do, I think. Don't need to expand the farm just yet. There we go. There. Right, and uh, this, these seeds yield wheat, and three wheats. 
for three bunches of wheat will make one piece of bread as you can see so wait for our our farm to reach reach its full amount of crops for now let's go and have a have a look around so I'm going to head back to that mine we found wherever that was there it is over there and we'll see if there's anything else we can discover see what we've got. I think I've already dug most of this away. Aha. Ah, oh, great, look at that. So we've got some coal, let's get that first. before coal comes in these large veins so once you discover one even if it just looks like it's one there's probably loads more underneath right so we've got all of that this is what I was really looking at we've got some iron here so let's see how much we've got of that 4 bits that's a good amount continue now through this cave Let's see what else we have so this here links back to our other cave there might be a spider about let's see what's up here all right not, not much up here all light up anyway Some water here. Let's block that up to stop us from sliding all over the place. In the event we need to run from a monster, that's going to hinder our progress. See, look how slow I move. If I was running away from a creeper, I could be injured a serious amount. dead end. Scrub this coal. head back now and see if we can find another fork to go down no. aha let's look down here stumbling into more and more cave systems now. <coughs> Alright. I 
and another dead end. So let's go back out of this one now, see if there's help in this one. Where did he come from? He must have followed me all the way. It's a good thing if we've got enough hunger to make sure we regenerate. Okay, we got some iron there. Eventually we'll get enough of this to make into armour. Extremely useful against mobs and especially creeper blasts as you just saw. And we're another dead end. We've got this coal. Never have enough of this stuff. As you can see, coal yields a, m a large amount of XP, which will become useful later on when we get, or if we get enchanting tables and things like that but for now let's head out of these caves and head back to the house and we can drop off our supplies and smell this iron oh more iron there missed that getting dark. So let's get back before all the monsters start spawning. Close all the door up, all the doors up, and smelt this. Now we've got enough coal now where we can put some away, so I'm just going to put that 64 in there, and I'll make some torches with this coal. That should be enough. Right, I'll sleep now. Luckily, there are not enough monsters nearby that I can't sleep. some nearby there. Right, I'm just going to make another fence on the other side that so the people, well not people, so the animals don't swim across there's a chance they will and destroy our crops right and I'm also going to leave another spare bit of dirt so that I can make more crops. And um, I think we can call it a day there. Um, so that's it for this video. 
the next video I'll be developing this farm and hopefully do a bit of exploring. So that's all from me and I'll see you next time.